So here we're given a graph of this function f square root of 2x plus 4, and we're asked that if f inverse is defined as the inverse function, what is the value of f inverse 2? Now, this function here uh, takes uh, x to y, so we have y equal to f, f, f of x, whereas the inverse function takes uh, y to x. So that means that if we look at uh, f inverse y would be x. So it's just the equivalent form. So here, when they ask us f inverse 2, we're looking in the original function, the value of x that would give me a y of 2. So here, what, would, what value of x would result in a value of 2? And if you read this graph here, a y value of 2 would result when x is 0. So f inverse 2 is 0. So that's one way to do it just by using the definition and the graph. You don't even have to worry about the function. Uh, the other is to actually create the inverse function. And we do that by swapping x and y. Um, now I'm going to square both sides. x squared is 2y plus 4. 2y is equal to x squared minus 4. Or y is equal to x squared minus 4 over 2. So our inverse function is x squared minus 4 over 2. They're asking for its value at 2. And if you plug it in, you'll see that you do indeed get 0. Now obviously this is more work than you need to do, and this is enough to just use the definition. So the answer is choice C.